everyone welcome back to my channel i know in my last video i said um i wanted to film a storing video of my twice cards and kepler cards and what other cards i had but mostly i have a lot of those cards um and i do have really big stacks for both twice and kepler and i have some other cards as well however i'm still working on um re-sleeving all of my twice cards in my first binder and it's gonna take me a while because it's not fun <laughs> um however um the supplies came in for um me to be able to restore and reorganize my rose collection and my itsy collection so today i wanted to do that and i thought it'd be fun to do it for a video um, my next video might be an unboxing. I bought a bunch of albums from Target online. Um, I have Idol, La Seraphim, and Enmix, which I know um, it's been a while since Enmix comeback, but I, um, I, I don't know. I just never got around to getting their albums, so, and they're Target exclusives, which is nice because um, all the Target cards, especially for Idol, are so cute and I love them. Um, unlike. JYP, the Target stuff is usually not as nice. Um, so yeah, I literally just realized I didn't have my one light on, <laughs> even though I had it plugged in. Um, anyway, um, I bought this photo card holder specifically for this card because it's a really, really uh, like hard card to find. So I can't. Um, I have not been able to find Cherry Youngs, um, and just have Leah's. And I'm like, oh, it's a pink bunny, so it's cute. But you kind of can't see the ears. Um, but I don't know. I, I still might keep it in there because I really don't know if I want to put it like in my binder because I don't have Che's equivalent. But I think we're going to start with Rosé. In my last video, I mentioned that I bought these binders to try out. Um, these A5 binders. And I actually really like them. Um, however, um... Even though I have this pink one and a purple one, I decided a different type of... I decided to try out a different kind of binder. And I actually think I like this one better. I think it's like slightly better quality. Um, so even though it's blue and I was like, rosé would fit better in a pink binder, um, I feel like I should put my um, more serious collections in here. Not that I'm not like... The other binders are still good, like, they'll still protect well and they're cute, but, like, this one definitely costs a bit more and is, like, just a bit nicer. So, um, I'm, I'm definitely thinking of having Rosé and Shuha in here because, um, they're kind of my more serious collections. And I got this from the same store that I got my other one, so I'll put a link in my bio. It's um, an Etsy store. I think it's Meow Cafe. Um, I really like them. So I feel like these <laughs> pages are just a bit smaller. And I really like don't feel like having to get more better sleeves and having to resleeve them all. So I'm just going to put these in here. It should fit. I have no idea why these pages are like that. They're like... It's the ones that came in the binder. I guess I'll just keep them. But like, I don't know, it's kind of annoying. Anyway, what I was saying was, um, my, um, Pink Venom, yeah, that's the name of the album, right? Pink Venom? No, what's it called? Born Pink. My Born Pink cards, um, a lot of mine in my albums were damaged. Um, so, like, I knew I wasn't going to be able to get any trades. I didn't really pull any of Rosé's anyway. 
um, so that's really stinks because um, it was not it was not cheap like it was like one of the more expensive albums and it just felt like such a loss of money um, so I guess now since I'm doing better financially I'll just buy her cards but I'm stuck with several um, damaged cards and some of them are like pretty badly damaged like it's really annoying Cute. These pages definitely look better with. Do I want it like this? Yeah, it looks cute. I don't know. I just realized I would literally just put them in a random order, but <laughs> these outfits are the same. So I think it looks good that way. And then, oh yeah, for how you like that, there's only four as well. I forgot. I thought there was five for some reason. However, there is five for the album cards. Um, so I think this one I'll put on a different page. I do have the group cards that came with the uh, Target exclusive album. So I think I might do that or either I have some pops as well so we'll see what works out that looks cute so I have these are all how you like that cards these are more album cards Album. I'm thinking I might do this and then just one of the group cards. I'll do this one. I could even put like the other group card on the back of it. Maybe I should do this. That's cute. more sense. I mean, I guess I could flip this one, too. I don't know. I, f I feel like it should go the other way. So I'm just gonna do it that way. <laughs> don't you agree? Like, this looks like it makes more sense. My camera is really up high with my new tripod, so I have to, like, stand up <laughs> to make sure everything's in frame. Um, but then I can also get more in the frame as well, so... So the one reason why I did not want to put my rosé collection um, in an A5 binder, right? This is A5, right? I think A4 is the bigger one. Um, was because her solo set perfectly had nine cards, um, which fit perfectly on one page for a nine pocket page, obviously. But you know what? I think the collection overall looks better in this binder so I'll live especially since this car is literally a picture of her legs that can be the odd one out I mean this one's not any better this set makes sense because you can tell it's like all in the same room same outfit and then these are kind of odd ones. And then we'll have her legs. 
and then um, I have pops. Oh, I have exactly four pops. <laughs> um, I can put one backwards. I forgot these are double these are double sided pink <laughs> I mean the back of that card is uh, it's a vibe card so it's like a code so it's fine to cover it I might want to go back and put this on the back of this then since I forgot their double sided pages that works and then next we have um, these were with the live album maybe I'll just move these to the back of the collection This is um, from the photo book. Um, you got a member pre-order set. I decided to keep it so I can have one OT4 set. It also came with a group card, but there's only three cards for the um, uh, photo book. And I know these aren't album cards, but um, they released this in, a, in the middle of a huge uh, black pink drought, and I just really wanted some rose cards. <laughs> so, and I got lucky enough that I joined a group order that they were able to give me all rose, so I didn't have to worry about trading and stuff because the photo book was expensive, but it is gigantic and came with so much goodies in it. Um, and then we have Born Pink, and like I said, um, I'm behind. So for right now, I'm just gonna store what I have because um, they fit pages perfectly. But I will rearrange it when I get more cards. I sadly only have one selfie card. <laughs> they really like their Polaroid cards. I really like this one, so. And these are all, these are all pops. And then um, I think I'll put Jenny first. Um, these, both of these cards are damaged, but they're not too bad that like if I put them in here, I don't even think you'll be able to tell, but I don't think I'll be able to trade them. And she's my bias tracker, so I'm like, I'll just keep them. And I love these cards anyway. Um, and I got one of her pops because I did get her, um, was it a digi pack or? They were member version albums and I got one of hers. Which also is where this card came from, I believe. Um, and then I think I'll just do... I'll just store these in here for now. As I was saying, these came with the live CD. Um, and there is four to collect, but like I could not find the other two. These were my pulls from the group order I joined for that. And these are just like hollow cards. Honestly, I don't really know where they came from. Pretty sure this is a withdrawal, how you like that card. 
and then this is a vibe card but i think for how you like that every album came with one versus for rose's album um only a few albums got them not a few albums but not every album got them is what i meant okay i mean it's kind of thick already but i mean so maybe i'll have to give shuha her own binder <laughs> That's okay. Um, so I'll flip through it real quick. Let me just make sure we're good in frame. Yeah, I'm really happy. I think this makes it look much better, more complete. I mean, for as long as Blackpink has been a group, there's not that many like official album cards I mean album yeah I said album card I can put a filler in here alrighty um I totally forgot I have my bigger inclusions as well but I will do that later low priority I just think this is such a cute binder I really like this blue color so I didn't want to do another pink and purple I like the binders being different colors and I'll probably decorate the cover with some stickers and whatnot now on to the binder I am most excited for this binder is so pretty it's like this soft purple glitter. And this is an A5 wide binder because for Itzy, I thought it would be better to have the six pages. And at first, I it was hard for me to find this binder, but Meow Cafe, I, f I feel like was reading my mind because they like uploaded, or not uploaded, but they um, got a bunch of A5 wide binders in stock and I was like perfect that's exactly what I want for my Etsy collection and I think I might do um in mix in here as well in the back but we'll see um after I get Etsy in here because I don't really have any in mix and mix cards on hand anyway to do today so we'll just do Etsy for now so the first slots I'm gonna keep empty because um I want the pre-order benefit, the Polaroids, um, to go there, but I do not have any on hand. And then I'm thinking I'll do like the regular selfies next to them, because there's three cards that do have um, borders, so those can go on the next page. Plus, I mean, this is the same outfit, but I feel like it actually goes better with these cards than with those cards. I have these in member order instead of like divided out but yeah I feel like that makes the most sense so we'll do that hopefully these cards fit. oh yeah they fit well these are really nice pages pages. Um, I just put a random amount in here because I wanted to see how they looked in the binder. These binders are definitely great for um, to collect multiple members of a group. Like if you also do three. Um, members and I do collect three members of Luna but with the amount of cards Luna has um, it makes sense more sense just to stay in a nine pocket binder um, so yeah and then 
works out really well for um, both Wannabe, which is It's Me, and Not Shy, since there's only three cards. That looks cute. Um, I don't have the units anyway, but I'm honestly thinking I might just like put the units in the back um behind like all the solo cards because there's enough like units overall because they also did it for um cheshire and um the limited sneakers what was that album called checkmate albums also had units so since i collect two members i'll just collect you know at least all of leah and chase units together what am I doing? <laughs> the way I'm just like autopilot. So I'm hoping Itzy has a comeback soon. I really miss them and I feel bad because I know the last two comebacks didn't do as well as they usually do. Um, I mean, I wasn't a fan of sneakers, I'm not even gonna lie, um, or that album to be honest, but Cheshire was a good release and I feel like people um, just wanted a reason to like continue the Itzy hate train. But I feel like JYP really has a chance to uh, redeem the group. Um, we definitely need like another um, in the morning type song, which I feel like Cheshire wasn't too far off from that, but like it just didn't have like the same vibes, like the girl crush concept that people go crazy over. And I mean, I guess JYP was struggling for a bit because people didn't like um, in Mix's first two releases. I loved them, especially Dice. Um, and the B side on that album, cool. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I, I like that they were experimenting. I did like most of the songs, like I said. Sneakers was the only song I wasn't a fan of, but I'm sorry. Like, these cards keep getting crooked. This makes me want to be an OT5 collector, but both uh, Rujin and Yeji are so difficult that I don't even want to bother. I don't know I'm gonna do these. I guess it's the regular cards on one page. Put that one in the middle. Yeah, I think I like that. Just trying to um <laughs> Think of things to talk about because I know there's always so much stuff I want to talk about, but like I'm blanking right now. Um, not itsy related, but I did get really, really good news yesterday. Um, in my last video, I mentioned that I really wanted to try for a Kepler um, fan sign, but I wasn't sure if I'd be able to. Um, and I figured out that for the next shop, I would be able to. Um, however, it was one of the few um, OT9 <laughs> group calls they um, announced versus one-on-one -on -one they've been doing, and that made me really nervous, but I still was like, you know what, I'm still going to go for it. And I literally covered most albums myself because I got like five joiners, <laughs> and I bought 40 albums, um, but 
believe it or not, I was able to get into the fan call. Um, I literally miscalculated the time of when they were going to make the announcement. So, um, I just went on Instagram, like, casually. My friend messaged me and was like, hey, you won. And I was like, wait, they already announced it? <laughs> and not only that, but I was one of the nine winners of a Polaroid, which is absolutely crazy. My first, um, time winning an actual fan sign. Because I, I did, um, I have done fan calls with Shuha from G Idol, um, but it was through Universe, so they weren't fan signs. Um, so this is my first actual fan sign, and the fact that it's a whole group, and also that I won the Polaroid is absolutely insane to me. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this, because I have extra cards. Hmm. Well, these clear cards are kind of weird. Maybe I'll just get rid of them. I do. Maybe I'll do this. Well, yeah. Um, anyway, um, so I'm so excited about that. <laughs> like, I was freaking out yesterday. Just so happy. Like, it doesn't feel real. Um, it is next week on Wednesday, and it's early in the morning um, before I go to work. <laughs> So I'm going to like have my fan call experience and then I have to go work for 10 hours, so. But at least um, it should give me like adrenaline so I can get through the day. I probably will crash by the end of the day though. But um, yeah, I'm so excited and um, obviously I'm Mashiro bias, um, if you didn't know. Um, if this is my first video you're watching, I collect all of Mashiro's um, cards and she is like my main my alt bias of k-pop along with Chaeyoung from um from twice and i'm so excited to get to meet her is that right no that's not right <laughs> that is not right at all what am i thinking i was like that doesn't make any sense okay, okay anyway I, I cannot like multitask. <laughs> I'm like, I can't do this talking. But, um, I literally just bought two signed Polaroids from my share for the first time. But, um, I mean, I can win any member. Like, the chances of, actu of actually getting my share, I feel like, are low. Um, so whatever member I get, I'm going to keep since it's my first, like, Polaroid win, and it is an OT9 call, so, you know, I'll be happy with whatever member I pull. Um, but I'm just so excited. It feels so unreal. I wasn't sure with 40, um, albums if I would get in, um, since it was, like, one of the only group fan signs, but, um. It's from a shop I literally have never heard of. So I think that was like one of the reasons. And there was 40 winners. But somehow I still was one of the nine winners of the Polaroid. So luck was really on my side yesterday. So that is very exciting. I definitely will do more videos on that. Like I'll probably share my fan call experience. And then me like opening all those albums only one of my joiners too has claimed inclusion but maybe two so like <laughs> i'm gonna have a lot of extra cards but that's fine because i'm still missing some ashiro and also i think um since i do have some like ot9 collections in my binder i was like i don't have one for love struck so i can see what i pull hopefully do a OT9 set. I used to collect OT9, but it got overwhelming. But I do really love the whole group, so I'm excited that I get to meet all of the members. But I'm also overwhelmed because, like I said, I've only done like one-on-one -on -one calls. So <laughs> having to prepare to talk to nine members, especially because, you know, um, 
I don't speak Korean. <laughs> um, and they don't speak English well. And they said, even though it's a global shop, they said there probably won't be a translator present. So that's fun. I will have to get I mean I don't have to but I like filling these pages out so I'll probably just get like one more pop for this era I think there are some pops in these outfits so I'll put them on the next page I absolutely love Leah's blonde hair and I want to come back with that blonde hair so I can have cute cards especially there was a look she did with like her hair and a po like two ponytails and it looked so cute definitely want i mean i was just saying i want i think they should do a girl crush <laughs> concept but now i'm like it would look cute and i would like cute girly concept I don't know, Etsy can do anything and everything, so. All right, so I'll leave these empty. I mean, I actually do think this card is in this, it is in that outfit, but there's absolutely no way I'm gonna get Chase equivalent, so. I mean, I could just get a different pop, like it doesn't have to be the same one. I really wish I could get Che's card for this because it is the cutest card. I mean, every single member's card for this set is absolutely adorable. Like, the cutest cards in existence. I actually um, pulled Yeji's, but I traded for Leah because she's my main bias, but I should have done Chase because I do see Leah's for sale every now and then, but like Chase is impossible to find. Um, and this is the other OT5 set I have because I pulled all of them <laughs> and I really like it. That works out perfectly actually. All right. So, um, I guess I can talk about other recent releases and stuff. Um, I mentioned I have La Seraphim's albums on the way, um, even though I don't officially collect any member yet. Um, I really like their music and I've been debating, but I, I don't know who I want to collect yet. Um, well, I should put a filler in here. Um, and then, what else? So, a lot of these releases have, like, amazing B-sides. Like, some of the best B-sides in a while. Five's new album is so good. Um, I mentioned before that Lips is my favorite. But I also really like um, Hypnosis, as does everyone else. Literally, everyone loves that song. <laughs> And that's in everyone's top. Um, but I also really like Cherish and um, and what's the other one? Heroin. The whole album is so good though. And I Am is such a good title track and I love the music video. And um, I'm also really happy with Giddy from Kepler. Um, Back to the City should have been the title track. I definitely agree with everyone on that. Um, looks pretty cute. But um, I, I mean, I do love Giddy, and I like, I like, the, I know like the con cat concept is really popular, so that's probably why they did that. But like, Back to the City, if it had like the retro vibes, like that also would have done good and we, I would have loved it that. Um, and I think one of the main reasons why I love it so much is because 
Mashiro and Hie actually have lines in that song. Um, them along with Shouting literally only have ad libs in one line on Giddy and it is so freaking annoying. Like when I first like listened to the song and I literally realized that they only had ad libs, I was like, are you kidding me? Um, but back to the city, Mashiro sings two choruses, which is insane. And it's crazy because Mashiro and Hie are like both really strong vocalists. Um, I mean, they're not the best in the group, but like they're pretty good. So it's like, why don't you give them more lines? I just don't get it. All right, so this is all I have for Cheshire right now. Um, but I do have a lot on the way from Bai. Um, so I'm just gonna put all these on a page for now. Um, I'm even going to collect the limited edition and special edition. I don't know the difference between the two, but I have Leah's on the way, at least, for everything. And um, I have seen some of Chase, so I'll probably snag some up. Um, yeah, we'll do that. This came, this release was right before I had my high hiatus, so I only have my pools. But I think this is pretty good pulls. I mean, I pulled their units. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, but like I was saying, I do, I always have collected all of Itzy's um, limited and special edition cards, minus um, Checkmate, they did units. But like I said, I might go back and get um, Leah and Chase's unit at least. Um, so I just thought it would make sense to continue it. Um, and especially because those cards are so cute. And they're from the Boys Like You music video. And I am a huge Boys Like You fan. Like, I love that song. I don't understand why people don't like it. Like, it is such a good song. Like, I think it's better than Cheshire and Sneakers combined. Um, definitely, that's the kind of, like, itsy comeback I would want. But for some reason, a lot of people didn't like it. And I don't understand. Um, I definitely have a lot of bigger inclusions as well but I don't have pages for those because um, I only have these pages so we'll flip through real quick I mean Cheshire is the only um, album I need to catch up on I've always been pretty good at keeping up to date with Itzy um, comebacks. It's just Cheshire that I fall, fell behind. So, yeah. I really like this. This is so cute. It looks so cute with the purple sparkly binder. Um, I don't know if I... I mean, I guess I could put stickers on this one. But it's like a soft texture. Um... So yeah, thank you for watching, and I definitely think my next video will be just my random unboxing of my Target albums, um, but after that I hope to do another storing video because, like I said, my Twice and my Shiro piles to store are already really big and I know I have a lot more on the way. Um, and I do have some on the way for my other collections, I'm just going slowly with those. So yeah, thank you for watching!